Of course, you also would like to have uh, envelope uh, signals in the system. And for this, we have an uh, envelope generator that uh, creates two uh, envelopes, uh, but triggered from the same gate. Uh, in this setup, uh, the gate is already normalized to the pulse output of the second LFO here, meaning that if uh, we sort of uh, listen uh, to a... Uh, <coughs> uh, if we connect this VCA with uh, envelope output signal here, uh, can set the envelope. We have um, basically four stages. If I close all the knobs then you have a very very short pulse. Uh, if you uh, normally you would like to uh, you would have a attack decay uh, sustain release but this one has a attack decay uh, break level uh, decay 2 and release. If you open uh, uh, the break level fully and you set the decay 2 to full then basically you would have the traditional sustain but with this system you can sort of already give a sort of a decaying function to uh, the release We have a very long sustain, and now the release can be short, and the sustain can also decay a little bit. Uh, there's also a, uh, a second uh, envelope generator, and that is uh, decay only. Uh, and the idea is to use that one, uh, for instance, uh, for a filter. So if I go back to this uh, this module and listen to the VCA output here and actually connect the gate input of this one uh, okay there's my sound uh, I can sort of use this as the the first envelope as the normal VCA envelope and I can use the uh, second uh, envelope to sort of modulate the filter effect. This uh, second uh, envelope can have a very short uh, decay time which gives you a nice uh, blippy kind of effect up to a very long one with a release time of several uh, minutes and the interesting thing about it is that we have two outputs one is just a plain positive only envelope output and the other one way you can actually, with a knob, set the polarity. In its middle position there is no effect. And this one is specially meant to modulate the filter, but of course it can be used for many other things as well. Okay. So, a nice uh, effect is if you want to have a uh, sort of a, a fat uh, sound uh, then you can connect the uh, second envelope to the harmonic modulation input of the oscillator open up the odd harmonics and give it a
nice phasing character which sort of sounds a little bit like you have a two oscillator sound. Uh, you can also use it to create the sound here. You hear that you can create nice effects when you modulate the decay time. Yeah, yeah. So there is a modulation input available here that directly modulates the decay time of the second envelope. Uh, but if you want to uh, modulate uh, uh, a decay time or an attack time, it doesn't really uh, pay off if you use uh, uh, like an audio signal to do that because we have very slowly uh, uh, changing signals relative to the speed of audio. And uh, the best way to uh, modulate uh, envelope times is actually to uh, use a sample and hold and sample the control voltage at the moment when the gate uh, comes on and use the sampled value for that particular uh, uh, attack or decay. So the input that I have here, the modulation input, if I connect that to a, an LFO, then I can open the modulation level and and now start to play with the LFO speed that goes in there. Uh, the uh, so. What happens is that the modulation first goes into a sample and hold that's built in into the envelope module and it's rooted internally to the second LFO decay time but you also have the sample and hold signal as an output here that you can route through the attack decay or release times of the first envelopes. So for instance I can use this same signal now to modulate the attack time. I just got the modulation on the second envelope, so you can better hear what's happening now on the attack. You can also put it on the release. And You can use that to create all sorts of swing and varying patterns into your uh, into your sound. Of course, you can also use the sample and hold output uh, uh, for other purposes. For instance, modulate the pitch of the oscillator. And now you here you have a traditional kind of sample and hold sound. Yeah, on the gate, the gate input on the envelope generator. Yeah, yeah, that just because that now comes from the LFO, uh, but that can also come from some uh, MIDI to uh, trigger boxer. Yeah, yeah, it comes from here. It goes here into the gate input, and then I can get the actual value to sample from any other. Place. And there's one of those, obviously, there's two sample holes in this one, one on both of the envelopes. Yeah, yeah. 